what's going on guys it's alexa back with another video today i'm actually on my way to get a nice little modification done to the outside of my car um it's nothing major but i definitely think it's going to be a really nice accessory to go along with uh the rest of the small white accents that i have going on on the outside of the car so you guys will definitely see when i get there um i'll give you the information of the place that i'm going to and everything but the person that works there he's been doing this for several years so i'm pretty confident about how it's going to look afterwards before i get to that i wanted to show you guys that today i have surpassed 300 youtube subscribers so um i really want to thank you guys truly because you know i didn't know how fast this was going to happen um i've only been doing this for about three months now and i wanted to show you the official numbers here bam 301 so you guys have really helped me out a lot. And once again, I thank you. So, okay, thanks. I'm in the car wash right now. Um, gotta make sure the car is clean before I get uh, the details added. I wanted to um, remind you guys that I mentioned in a few uh, previous videos that I'm gonna be doing a Q&A video once I hit 300 subscribers. So since that has happened, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Look for my Instagram post where I mention the Q&A and you guys can leave me a comment under that post asking me, you know, what questions you want me to answer. Like I said, try not to ask anything personal. Um, but yeah, I wanna interact more with you guys. I want you guys to tell me, you know, maybe more of what you wanna see from me or if you wanna know a little more about me that's not too involved. I'd be happy to answer some of these questions for you guys. So by the time this video goes up, I should have had the post up already. So now the water jet is starting and I don't want it to be too loud in here. So I'll see you guys when I get to the shop. <laughs> Altuco, right? Did I say it right? Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> this is Altuco. Um, I showed you guys the sign outside earlier. I'm here getting my stripes on, and this is my guy John and his lovely daughter, Skylar. Skylar. Oh, I like that name. Thank you. This is his daughter, Skylar. So he took the patience to come back, help me with my stripes today. So I really appreciate him for that. He's been doing this for years. I was recommended by a friend. You know Scott? Mm -hmm. Yep, he told me to come by here to uh, work with you. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll give him a chance. I met Scott at uh, Cars and Coffee, so he's been really cool this towards really me. This is really cool but... we're using right here, too. This is knifeless tape. In other words, when we put the stripe on, we pull the wire through the tape, and there's nothing cut from the car. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, I was like, this is a, some very interesting. Oh, so there's a wire through it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see it now. So I pop it okay. and then pull it through. And then, so if you ever go to remove the stripe, there's never any marks in your hand. Oh, you know, that makes a lot of sense. I'm glad someone's out here thinking. But yeah, I will show you guys kind of the process that he's doing. I know there's a lot of do-it-yourself opportunities on YouTube. I don't trust myself enough to do something as particular as this. I like to have certain things perfect and if i want my stripes to look good i want to have a professional do it so i'm pretty sure this is going to look really really good so i'm excited to see the turnout so he's out here just laying the vinyl down and i really don't think this is going to take long at all if you guys are ever wondering if you want to get something done here i'll be sure to leave his information and phone number if you guys want to come get something done here now the only thing that i've done myself to this car is added the white vinyl to my bow ties in the front and back Pretty soon I'll be getting my brake calipers painted on the outside. I want them a matching red, but um, you know, 
I'm looking at all options here. If you guys think of a different color, let me know. Knifeless tape. Yep. And what that does is when you pull this wire through, it cuts the vinyl for you. So in other words, you can cut any kind of shape or anything and any design, then you pull both the liners out from oh. both sides. And then you just smooth back down the vinyl again. And then it's all done with no knife marks in the paint. So oh, when, right, okay. When anybody goes to ever remove it, there's never any scarring in the paint. Mm -hmm. We use the same process on our wraps when we overlap vinyls. Right. Or when we do the stone shields on the front of the vehicles. Mm -hmm. If we want to make a curved stone shield or a curved shape, we just take that and put it across the hood and then cut it in shapes with this wire stuff. It's pretty okay. cool. Pretty wow. stuff. All right, guys, what do you think? <laughs> Looks good to me. Wow, that's a significant change. Here's after, and there's before. Oh, yeah. It was a good choice. I've always liked these accents. You know, I see them on all kinds of cars, Camaros, Chargers, Mustangs all the time, and I'm like, wow, these really look good. And I was like, wait, why can't I get some? At first, I thought it would be too much going on with the stripes that I have on top thought it would be too busy but I think that's a really nice accent because it's not too much oh yeah there are a lot of food trucks in this area yeah. don't mind the extra noise guys that's just the rain but this is some of the work that they do oh that satin this was um, oh my gosh three years ago we did the wheels too oh yeah I noticed because I was like that's a little different and the poor guy owns a, tone, a stone business and he hit his spoiler mm -hmm. with a piece of stone oh man and um, so we're fixing the spoiler and his wrap for him wow and we just need these um, see how these letters are three dimensional yeah, yeah whoa we so they did, yeah we did those oh wow that's really neat and then here's a fire truck we're working on this is has a Oh, this is so cool. Yeah. Wow, that is like a nice step up. Jeez, look at the size of these tires. That comes up to my, that's past my hip. <laughs> that looks amazing. That was three years ago? That's, no way. You know, I see this. I see this in the morning, you know? <laughs> Ooh, this this blue, like, turns my head every time. I've seen this car at least five, six times in the last month. This and this one, one, oh, man. This was really cool because we put this little piece up here, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So what's yep. crazy is, guess what color this car is? White? I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> it's actually doo-doo brown. <laughs> That's <laughs> what a description. <laughs> yeah, they call it Army Rock. Oh, I, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. That's cool. So that's Man. how we, we try to wrap them so you can't tell what color they are. Like that BMW okay. over there is white. Yep, never would have been able to tell. That is a really nice BMW. And you did the um the emblem too. Yeah, see here's white, wow. white in here. Ooh, this is nice. And see, I'm always like, BMW is on my list of cars. dream cars I want to have. Yeah. So. So we'll have that guy spoil it back on his car and I'll fix it up. Oh wow. Man, this rain is crazy. Yeah, that's today, so every day. I know, like, jeez. That is wild. Well, thank you for showing me that. Alright guys, here's the finished product. And right now I'm deciding on whether I'm gonna do the white gills. Something tells me I might. <laughs> I always say I don't know and then when you start adding more I'm like mm, well, maybe <laughs> exactly because I'm just like yeah so if any of this ever happens to peel or just bring it back, just bring it back no charge or anything? Yep. oh wow that is really helpful how much would you think it would cost to wrap this whole car um, about 2200 Okay. Because what we do is we take the door handles out, wrap underneath mm -hmm. here. Like you see this car right here, what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see the whole bumper's off. The bumper's gone, the handles are gone, the trim's 
gone. Yep. All of this is gone. Mm -hmm. bumpers because when we finish with that color over there we want yeah. nobody to know what color this car was exactly yeah i have seen a few rap videos and i'm just like that is a really involved process well the thing is you can tell the good ones from the bad ones because when you go to these car shows and stuff you can see who has bad raps because you can tell what color the car is when you walk up because yeah. you can tell right here like if this car was white you would see that oh yeah 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 you're right right there mm -hmm. or right down here this would be white mm -hmm. or in here would be white yeah you know what i mean that is so true you can make up your mind now because you can see both sides there or over here oh man that is tough <laughs> you can have either one you want and if you want those today i'll give them to you free ah uh, you know I'm gonna go with it, and I feel like if I change my mind, I know who I'm coming back to, because I can I can tell the work you guys do, and I'm I'm really impressed. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. Well, guys, I'm leaving the vinyl shop now, and of course, this is the weather that I get to come out to. I was hoping the storm would be over by the time you finished, but I was already at the shop past their closing hours, so I didn't want to hang out there and wait, but. Overall, I'm really happy with the results. So maybe by the time I get home, it'll be done raining and I'll show you guys what everything looks like. Um, I got the gills done on the side and I got the side accents on the fenders you guys saw earlier. So let me just try to concentrate on getting home. So I'll see you guys in a couple seconds, but I'm really happy with the results. Guys, when I say it's been pouring for three hours, I am not kidding, but Here's the finished product. This piece of vinyl, this corner right here, was sitting up. Like I, I saw it in the wind on my way home. So uh, I don't I don't know what to do about it. Um it's still thundering as you can tell. I literally picked the worst day to try to get, you know, these vinyl stripes, but I mean, damn, look at it. And it's not even in the daylight, but still, oh my God, it looks so good. And then the gills, man. I wanted a slightly different design with the gills, but I was like, you know what? Let me just try these first, see how I like them. And you know, the best thing about these is if I decide that I don't like them anymore, I can easily take them off. Um, but John gave me some great customer service. He was very patient with me. You know, he came back and worked with me and everything stayed late. So I really appreciate him for that. So please, please make sure you guys go check him out if you want any wrap done, any vinyl work, anything like that. I'm very happy with it. And yeah, I just had really bad timing with it. This was less than $100. You know, I just wanted to start subtle. So I really, I've always liked the accents at the front. So yeah, he said I can come back for any other modifications or, or customizations, I should say. So. But yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad I made it home safe, but this is going to look really great tomorrow. I can't wait to drive it to work. I know I have some people that are waiting to see it. So, But anyways, um, if you enjoy, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content. I really love to have you part of the family. So um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.